I've seen, seen the, the planning commissions in action six times now total. Four of those six, they were trying to intimidate a cameraman. What is it with you guys? Fort Fest dot party. It's gonna be a party. So while I was trying to film here, this guy came out and tried to stop me from doing interviews. Do you support that? Oh, oh, thanks. No, I had a question for you. What is your position on the council, if I might ask? Oh, I don't have a real position. I'm a member of the council, that's all. Okay. Um, I'm helping out. I just am very interested because I work with youth and uh, families in the Alstead area, Fall Mountain, Marlow, so the north towns, and uh, we have serious transportation needs. And our youth cannot get places that they need to get in order for yeah. enrichment and for education and for expanding their horizons. Now, there was a guy here, and I think he was someone that was going to the meeting. I'm not sure exactly what his status was. He came out and tried to stop me from doing interviews. He would stand between me and the people that I was trying to interview as they came in. Do you support that? I don't know. I don't, I don't know who that was because I just walked into the meeting very, very late. Yeah. <laughs> I got to go. Ellen, I got a question for you. Your minute taker indicated that I have to have release forms from people at this government meeting in order to film them and put them on the internet. Do you support his position? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There have been uh, six interactions, or six times I've seen the planning commissions in action. And four of those, four of those six, I've seen them trying to imitate, uh, to uh, intimidate a cameraman. I, you know, I don't know anything about all of this, so I just, you know, I, I mean, as far as, you know, you're the press, you're here. Um, I think some people, if they don't want to be photographed, then it's their personal right to tell you that they don't want to be photographed. Yeah, they can tell me. I appreciate you not telling me that. All right, take care. I've seen, seen the, the planning commissions in action six times now total. Four of those six, they were trying to intimidate a cameraman. What is it with you guys? We're so trying to get into a meeting. I mean... I'm, I'm recording, by the way. Okay. I'm just... What are you here doing? I'm Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. It's a poor man's TV station. I cover small government you know, events that the mainstream press doesn't because okay. they don't have enough money. Okay. Yeah. And so why were you trying to ask us questions on the way into the meeting? Just... Does there have to be a reason? <laughs> well, it's kind of problematic when we're trying to get into a meeting that we've spent a lot of time setting up and trying to schedule everybody to get to. Yeah, I don't think it, it, would, not, it would be inappropriate for me to stand between you and your meeting. Okay. And by the way, I appreciate you standing here and continuing to answer questions. You know, I mean, some people sure. just walk off on me. Sure. Or they tell me I have to get release forms to film at a government meeting. What were you thinking? No, that's no not it, wasn't, it wasn't in the meeting part. It was in other parts of it. Oh, you're claiming that because I was in the lobby. Oh, suddenly near right. a government meeting, well, not good enough, no, can't you know film. Well, you know what? You should understand that this is also a public housing yes, area. It is. And people who go through here aren't necessarily part of the meeting. They just live here. And exactly. I've, I've actually heard... Some people have gotten really offended when you've approached them just because they're living here and you're and you're asking them stuff. So it just it doesn't work that great, you know. If you're really that interested in being in the meeting, just come on in. We're open to the public. I appreciate you making your case, uh, but you did use the key word there, public. I paid for this. If you want to say that, that's fine. All right. All right. Just know that other people also have a right to their livelihood when part of this is actually private in here and you're approaching some private citizens who aren't involved in the meeting and they're getting... Yeah, well, you just, you just said it was public and you were right. Well, meeting space. your video, you just caught somebody that was a private person and you didn't get the release. How do you know I'm not going to blur that out? You know there's a thing called oh, technology. Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> so, so just like in the meeting, you actually weren't listening to it. 
How do you know? Because, because, well, you left the room multiple times. Really? Is that against the law? No, but it means that you're, you're, you're not holding to your reporting. Right. right. Your reporting is going to be incomplete. Look, here's a here's a PR tip. Let reporters do what they want. Don't tell them to do what you think they should do. It's just like George Orwell said. Journalism is not public relations. It's printing something someone doesn't want you to. And we're going to do it whether you tell us to or not. All right. I appreciate you hearing me out. Sure. I'm going to... No I'm going to leave you now. I, I'm sorry if you felt I, I intimidated you. You're a government official. You should behave better than that. You work for me. Just so you're aware, I'm a personal, I'm a private citizen. Hey, did you want to, did you want to get, did you want to get on this bus? Yeah. Sure. Okay, safe travels, guys. You've probably heard of Pork Fest, but have you heard of Fork Fest? It's a decentralized alternative. It's also at Rogers Campground at a slightly different time. You don't even need a ticket. Visit ForkFest.party. It's gonna be a party.